One month after the COP27 climate change summit, COP15 on biodiversity kicks off in Canada. The objective for the 196 countries present is to halt the decline of life. And the call for action is urgent. According to the latest World Wildlife Fund report, wildlife populations have on average declined by 69% since 1970. The current rapid rate of loss is a direct result of rampant human activity since the Industrial Revolution. Jen Hacking works for the Global Conservation Division at World Wildlife Fund International. There's the imperative to conserve the habitats that we have in nature. And the target is to conserve 30% of land, freshwater, and oceans and restore global ecosystems by 2030. Now, that's only eight years away now, so it's a, big, it's a big goal. This framework, known as the 30 by 30, is the pinnacle countries will aim towards. Hacking also says that COP15 should provide people the tools and knowledge of how to reverse the trend. With a million species facing extinction, the issue is pressing. You may not think that this might save an elephant in Africa, but is to reduce your food waste. So do we buy too much? Do we throw away too much? Do restaurants throw away too much? There's some evidence that we could probably reduce our food waste by half. And you're thinking, well, how could that you know, save an elephant in Africa? Well, maybe that means that we don't need to deforest an extra hectare of land to produce palm oil. COP has yet to hit any target on biodiversity. Parties will have two weeks from now to overturn the trend.